What's up, everybody? It's Mike Lines here. Um, I'm going to go a bit of a rant uh, right away. So, um, about a heated subject as of late, um, about filming engine and basically all that sort of thing. So, it's not just for YouTubers, but it's just fitness filming in a whole. Um, re realistically, if you're in the gym, um, regardless of what gym you're in, you should be respectful of both people around you. So you don't own the piece of equipment. It's not yours. Um, you're not sitting on a piece of equipment for 20 to 30 minutes. Uh, just to get the correct angle. You do your exercises, you talk about it while you're doing it and you, you, you get the fuck off. Um, you try to be as mindful to other people in the gym as much as they are being mindful of you. Um, if you're being one of the basically assholes that are taping other people in the gym without their permission, grow a fucking set of balls, go up to them and ask them, can I tape you? Can I use your exercises in um, a debate on my fitness influencer, whatever the fuck you want to call it? If you don't have the fucking set of balls to do that, then don't fucking tape other people. Like, don't be a pussy. Um, because basically what you're doing is you're making people that actually have morals and actually care about the, the fitness industry and want to help people. Um, people are assuming that we're going out of our way to film them. Um, if people know me and look at my channel, um, I don't call people out on my channel. I don't videotape people in the gym. I pick exercises that I severely distaste and dislike because of the, the misuse of machines and basically the risk of injury and um, flat out, you're not gonna build anything. You're doing it for fucking putting weight on a machine. Um, making yourself feel good because you got five, six plates on a machine, you can't lift it properly. So you're doing it wrong. Yes, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna use that exercise. I'm not gonna call your name out. I'm not gonna use your name. I'm gonna attack that exercise. But to assume that I am filming you, um, that's disrespectful. So there's always a flip to the other coin. If you feel that you're being filmed, go up respectfully and say, are you filming me? Don't get aggressive, don't get pissy because that is gonna have a reaction from that person because basically you're attacking them. So at the end of the day, stop assuming that people are doing things when they're really not. Everyone needs to be respectful in the gym. It's an unwrit unwritten rule in gym etiquette that respect is paramount. So if you want to be treated in a way that you treat people the way that you're, you want to be treated, then that's the way you live your life. But if you just want to be aggressive and assume that people are doing things to hurt you, then guess what? You're going to get that same respect back and it's disrespectful. So at the end of the day, my whole rant about this whole thing is if you're in the gym filming for whatever reason, be respectful about the people around you and the time and money that they are spending on their membership because they're there the same way as you are. I really don't give a flying fuck if you have a million followers or if you have two. It doesn't bother me. And frankly, I don't give a flying fuck what you feel about me. Like, I'm at the age right now that I'm a dad. I am a husband. I have lived my life. I have been in the fitness industry. Made it to the, to the pro level. Didn't succeed in the pro level, but I still made it. More than a lot of people can say. So, what I put out there is to help. And if I'm going at an exercise that I distaste and dislike, it is for that reason. Not because so-and-so is doing that exercise, because I fr frankly don't give a fuck. Most of the people that attack me on the internet, I don't even know who the fuck you are. I don't. I, I don't. Do I know who you are and do I care? Not in the slightest. Do I care that you're threatening me on the internet? No, because just you're fucking doing it behind a keyboard. You won't come to my face and say anything. You'll do it behind a keyboard. And I'm cool, I'm saying something. Yeah, okay. Like, 
I'm too old school and traditional to even fucking bother with that or waste my breath on people like that. So this whole social media era of people bashing other people online needs to stop. Frankly, like grow a set of balls and talk to somebody face to face at the end of the day and be respectful. Like if you're not going to be respectful, then don't fucking do it. If you're just going to do it to create drama, then guess what? Drama is what you're going to get. And usually it's not going to be over on the internet. It's going to be face to face. And that's when most of these people back right the fuck down. So anyways, as you can tell, I'm getting heated as I'm talking about it. So it, it's a subject that now that I'm doing it and I've only been at this for a few months, it's staggering to say the least on the disrespect that people think they can get away with. And just because they're behind a keyboard away from the person. But as soon as they see them face to face, they cower and walk away with their head down. I just, I have zero time for that in my life. Zero. And I am not even going to fucking acknowledge that they're in the room with me because frankly, it gives me no pleasure and it gives me not like nothing. I'm getting nothing out of that conversation, but they're getting something they, they can fucking click and say, Oh, Dr. Michael, don't give a fuck. Don't care. I really don't care. Like, and this evolves into so many other subjects like posing in the gym, taking your clothes off in the gym, posing in the mirror. You're not impressing anybody. No one cares. No one's looking at you like Mike Van Wick had a video the other day and I, I literally spit my drink out because he hit it on the head. No one's looking at you going, yeah, man, this is exactly what I needed to get me pumped up today is this guy with no muscle posing in the mirror. Like I do. <laughs> what I'm doing is I'm trying not to look at you and laugh blatantly. So just don't like there's posing rooms, there's bathrooms. Like, even in my day when I was competing, never did I peel down and flex in the mirror or pull my pants down around my ankles and shake a quad. I went into the bathroom and I did it. Or if there was such a thing as a posing room back then, that's where I went. Like, never in a million years would I do it in a gym or put my posing trunks on and parade myself in the middle of the fucking gym where members are paying money to work out. They're not there to look at me, nor am I there to look at them. I'm there to work out. Like, I don't understand where people think this is cool. Most of us don't give a fuck. And most of the time you're disrespecting other people and, and, and interfering with their time that they're, they are trying to A, work out, B, have a stress, stress relief of the day that they just did or the environment that they're just in like nothing like the world does not revolve around you so you thinking it does well that guess what it, it doesn't so get over yourself grow a set of balls and fucking have respect for people that's all i gotta say about that